Hi everybody, my name is Melissa and welcome to my channel. So if you have been following any of my wrap ups, which I haven't been that consistent of this past year, but if you've been following them, I have been kind of in a big reading slump. This past month, I only read a total of eight books that I finished. I'm in the middle of a couple, which I will talk about at the end. And I have been really just kind of getting back into the swing of things and reading and the joy of it and everything. So again, like I said, I only read eight books, but I am really excited to talk about these eight books and what I am reading. I am wearing my most festive October t-shirt which says 2020 is boo sheet which let's just be real it kind of has been. Um, so thank you to my husband for purchasing this for me and gifting it to me because I mentioned it one time and I was like oh this is really cute and he found it on Etsy and purchased it for me so husband points good job. Um, so yeah I don't have a lot of books to talk about so <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. So the very first book I want to talk about is Puppy Love by Caitlin Beckett. This is a book that I gave one star to so not a very good start to my reading month. Uh, this is a shifter reverse harem book. So this girl's a vet living in the middle of like kind of nowhere. <laughs> she runs a shelter for animals that you know have been abused or neglected things like that. So she kind of takes everybody in and is kind of living paycheck to paycheck. Anyway so she runs across this wolf puppy and you know lo and behold it's not actually a wolf but she doesn't know that and she gets bitten so this kind of sets off a whole slew of issues the you know father of the puppy ends up coming to go get him and etc etc gave it one stars was not a big fan of it um the idea about it sounded really good i really like you know shifter romances if you don't know and big paranormal fan but unfortunately this just didn't do it for me the second book that i ended up reading i gave five stars to which i absolutely adore this one and that is a promise of fire by amanda bruchette so i think that's how you pronounce her name um this is a fantasy romance that i know a lot a lot of people on booktube really enjoyed and i loved this first one. It is about a girl named Kat and she has been running away for a very long time from her family, from a lot of things in her past and she ends up in this circus where she's kind of like found this family um, of other people who have these different abilities. There's parts of this world that have magic and other parts that don't and the closer you get to like the north there's more magic available to be used so um, obviously the majority of the time the people who are in power have magic and apparently during you know before this book started the people who didn't have magic kind of had this uprising and one of those people is Griffin so she is at the circus doing her thing she's a soothsayer tells people their fortunes etc etc and he ends up finding her and you know basically kidnapping her and she is not happy about it and this story is so so good it's like this hate to love you I don't know I just really enjoyed this book I'm so bad at describing it um but yeah she has all this power she is so strong and fights Griffin at every turn who must I say I really enjoyed his character as well and it was really interesting to see you know people who didn't have magic kind of trying to figure out this world of like holding power in a world that used to and majority you know the people in charge did have magic so i i don't know i i thought that was kind of cool and then you know the main character and him have to go on this like quest to figure something out um and like i said she's running for things so you kind of figure out her past as the story goes along so i'm not sure if i explain this book very well but anyways it's very very good if you have kindle unlimited you like fantasy romance definitely pick this one up it was very good so the first and only physical book that i finished this month is going to be a deadly education by naomi novak i did a reading vlog on this book actually and if you haven't watched it just know i loved this book so so much from start to finish so i read uprooted by naomi novak i enjoyed it it wasn't exactly my favorite i just felt like the writing style was completely different from this book to be quite honest so if you didn't really like that book too much i think you might like this one a lot more um this is definitely like that dark academia magic vibe but not like oxford like this is completely different the world that she's created is so interesting so it's basically the school that doesn't exist in like the real realm it's kind of like in a different dimension so to speak and it's created like this it's like in the circle i'm not sure if you can see it and so each year that you're there you know your freshman senior whatever like it you stay in these rooms and it twists down and so the closer you are to the bottom 
you know, of graduating, there's these evil creatures that live there and there's nothing you can do to like get rid of them, except like on the day of graduation, the seniors have to like fight their way out and um, the majority of people end up dying in this book or they should be dying, but there's a, you know, good doer that has been saving everybody's lives and our main character is just like, does not like him. And the first sentence of this book basically just did it for me. It had me hooked. It said, I decided that Orion needed to die after the second time he saved my life. I hadn't really cared much about him before, but then one way or another, I had my limits. So it was just so full of sass, our main character. Let's see, what was her name? Oh gosh. I think it was L or something like that. It was some nickname. Unfortunately, I, I can't find it. But our main character, L, she has so much sass and is just so great. And I really liked this hate to love type romance that was involved in this. And honestly, like the main point, she was just like trying to survive and do the most that she could because she wasn't from like a wealthy family that had a lot of connections and she's just doing everything she can to survive. I loved this book so, so much. It was dark, it was gritty, it was funny. It was just everything that I ever wanted in a book and didn't know I needed. This is it. I loved it. That's all I have to say. So the next book I ended up picking up is a reverse harem book called My Bloodline by Casey Keen. I enjoyed this book. I, thinking back to it now, I don't think I would give it five stars because I didn't remember it all too much. Um, this book was quite enjoyable. Obviously, I give it five stars. I think the whole fact that you know she doesn't really know who her family really is, and she ends up going to this academy and having to like learn how to be part of this underworld society. Basically, they have the school where these families send their kids. If you're an ace, you're like the best of the best, top family lines, and then it goes to like. Um, hearts and diamonds and clubs and depending on where you rank in this like underworld society you lived in that certain dorm she basically has three families that are kind of supporting her and it I enjoyed it I really liked it I liked the guys in the story it was a lot of fun it definitely had a lot of those like um, moments where everybody's kind of hanging out and just like that small connection type stuff that I really enjoy. So I think that's why I really enjoyed this book. Other than that, I just found it absolutely ridiculous because there is absolutely no way this would be real. But you know, that's okay. It is what it is. And I did enjoy it. Obviously gave it five stars. So it was an enjoyable read and I just like flew through this book to be quite honest. So the next book I ended up picking up was Michaela's Big Bad by Tajan. I was trying to save this for, for the PNR readathon, but I did not obviously. Um, I gave it three stars. It was a novella, very quick, short to the point. Um, sometimes I really enjoy novellas, other times I just can't get behind it. I would have liked more to the story. Our main character, she can like feel people's energies and things like that, and uh, she knows that this big bad is going to be coming to town, and she's just like, you know, really nervous about this. She ends up going to this club, meeting that big bad, obviously, and, you know, things progress from there. Very short, quick, to the point. I do think I would have liked this to be more of a full-length novel. I think it would have been really, really interesting to see. Unfortunately, it was a novella, so I gave it three stars. The next book I ended up picking up is another reverse harem I gave three stars to called The Angels by Ruby Vincent. This is a book about a girl whose parents end up basically conning a bunch of people in their area in their town a lot of people lose money and they just disappear and leave her and her brother and i'm pretty sure her brother has um like special needs or something if i'm not mistaken or maybe he doesn't maybe that's a different book either way obviously don't remember that part there's a lot of like oh need to save my brother and my younger siblings type deal anyways the main character she ends up having to deal with moving to her aunt and uncle's house and how they're like complete crap they treat her like crap and she, like everybody's mad at her because they all think that she knows where her parents went and where the money is and she has absolutely no idea and so she has to deal with a lot of backlash from that and at this really rich school where a lot of people lost their money there's a group of guys there that are like super bad i think they're supposed to be part of a gang and they are coming after her because they think that she knows where the money is and that's how it goes <laughs> um so 
it was interesting. I, again, give it three stars. I read it, finished it, enjoyed it while I read it, but that was about it. So the second to last book that I read was for the Paranormal Romance Readathon, and I read this book called Incubus Caged by AJ Lee. <laughs> I keep forgetting the name of this author. I gave it three stars, so it wasn't like that that great, but while I was reading it, I enjoyed it. It kind of was a little bit misleading in the fact that when I read the synopsis on Goodreads, it said it was a polyamorous male male female romance but that doesn't really quite happen in this book like you see the beginnings of it which is fine um but the majority of the romance is centered around like one male one female I did enjoy it our main character she ends up having to go live with this wizard basically like every couple of years they get these like concubines and like they live there to like help entertain and this wizard he is supposed to be like this mediator between a lot of the different countries I guess and territories and if there's ever any disputes they go there to try to like get it worked out so that way they don't result in war so this place has a lot of um i guess sexual activities going on in it and like from the start it just like goes the wizard has this black panther that's like always around and there were some like really odd scenes with that um and like you get hit with that information uh, right at the beginning so it was interesting it was enjoyable for the paranormal romance readathon it was a perfect fit flew through that book in the first day the last book i ended up reading is called obsessed by jenica snow this is a very short and to the point novella um obsessed that's pretty much what it is <laughs> our main character she is like basically obsessed since she saw this her best friend's brother for the first time and he is the same way so he is an underground fighter which is kind of a cliche trope to be quite honest but he's this big underground fighter always wins never loses and she is going to basically claim her man on by the end of this fight and he is thinking the same thing that okay i'm gonna make her mine so that ends up happening he is this big like alpha male so there's a lot of like that type of you know vibes going on which sometimes I don't mind but I just feel like I just wasn't in the mood for that and just a lot of things that happened I was just like Ugh, I, I just didn't really like if you are looking for a quick short novella to like um you know read it and get it over with that is kind of you know the point of this book and it delivered I did give it three stars it wasn't amazing out of this world but I did enjoy it while I was reading it okay so I'm going to talk about the two books the two physical books that I'm currently reading and the first one is going to be The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by D.E. Schwab I am enjoying this one a lot I'm just not very far into it I'm literally that far so on page 62 I'm sure you already know what this book is about but like I can just let you know. Our main character, Addie LaRue, made this deal basically with these gods where she wanted to be free. She didn't want to have to be, have to marry the guy that she was like, her parents were forcing her to marry. She just wanted to do her own thing. And in the 1700s in France that just, you know, no, women were kind of like, had a purpose in life was to marry, to have babies, and that's it. And she just didn't want that. So she made this deal. And unfortunately, now, like anybody who sees her can't remember her at all so it, it kind of goes back and forth between the years 2014 and 1700s kind of going back and forth I'm not sure um like if this book goes to like today's time or if it stays there but obviously I haven't read very much of it so I'm enjoying this book a lot a lot a lot and I've almost highlighted almost every page in this book just for something that has meant a lot to me or in the fact that I've just really like the writing style. So I am liking this a lot more than some of her other books. So I am enjoying it and yeah, not very far. Next physical book that I'm currently reading is Fortuna Sworn by KJ Sutton. This is for the Paranormal Romance Readathon about halfway. Um, this kind of gives me Holly Black's like Cruel Prince type vibes and not in the exact same way but very like dark fey you know not like it just has that same vibe to it so if you like holly black's books and you like you know those underground um uh 
places that they live and the, I don't know, the types of clothes that they these Faye wear and all of it, just the, kind of that dark and gritty world that she has created. It kind of just like is similar to this. So our main character is the last of her kind and her brother ends up going missing and she ends up finding him somehow and makes a deal with this Faye and um maybe that wasn't the best choice to make. So this was a lot of fun so far, or this has been a lot of fun so far. And yeah, definitely need to finish this here soon. I started it yesterday. All right guys, thank you so much for watching my October reading wrap up. Again, this was not my best reading month. I had some good books and some bad books, some absolute favorites of the year, which was really exciting. And I'm in the middle of some really great books that I can't wait to finish here fairly quickly. Um, if you have any thoughts or opinions about these books or have any recommendations for me, I would love to chat about it and talk about it in the comments down below. And I hope you have a great day and happy reading. Bye!